face. I have a lot of face products uh, this month because I just went through a lot. The Ole Henriksen Hydra Barrier Nourishing Face Oil. I am not wild about these products, but I poured it into a different container because I just wasn't getting a lot out with that dropper, probably because this isn't a big squeezy thing. I like the packaging, the glass. I like the feel of the glass, it feels good. Is it a product I would repurchase? No. Wishful Yo Detox, you put it on dry and then you rinse it off and it's an enzyme exfoliator. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I like some other ones better. This was a new one for me, a Vini Tolerance. It's extremely gentle cleanser. So it works as a micellar water. So you put it on and then you can dab it off or you can rinse it off. I didn't realize that at first. I thought it was a normal cleanser, but it's not. So I do like that. Will I purchase it? Not sure yet. Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Because the reason why people like this so much is because it smells like green sherbet. Is it, was, it was okay, it worked, right? Is it the, oh my gosh, you have to go and spend all the money on this? Not yet. Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is another one. Everyone loves Elemis. This is not my favorite brand. I don't understand the hype for Elemis. I do not understand the hype for the Ole Hendrickson. I don't get it. Had a sample of the Lancome Regenery Peptide Cream. It was okay. I would, wouldn't repurchase it. I do like the Honey Halo. Would I repurchase? Possibly. Possibly. Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. I did like this. It was just a little bit. I do like the Youth to the People brand, and I didn't like that one at first, but I've come around. They have a uh, an overnight face mask that I really do like, and I like to keep it by my bed and put it on from Charlotte Tilbury. It's an empty one and I have the next one in the container. I also used up a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. I really like this and I have another one in my stash. The Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Night Cream. I went through a couple of these. I really do like that. I would totally purchase that, especially if they're having a BOGO sale, um, which I know they had a BOGO sale around Christmas time and I stocked up on a lot of her moisturizers, but I did not buy the night cream. But it has the retinol already in it and it's very thick, it's very rich, and it feels very good on. And another small sample of Charlotte's Magic Cream. The Charlotte's Glow Toner, Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. Meh, it's okay. There's nothing to write home about. Glow Recipe. The niacinamide dew drops. I have, I think, two or three more of these put away. So this one's gone. Time to bring out a new one. Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I like Glow Recipe. It's a good brand. I had this. I had given it to my husband and he didn't use it. So I stole it back and I used it. It was just a couple uses. But it's the Belief True Cream and Moisturizing Balm. I liked it. Would I repurchase it? I'm not sure. But I did like this Belief moisturizing balm toner. I do have a whole bunch of the Laneige cream skin. So I don't know if I will repurchase the Belief toner because they seemed similar. I guess I'll have to check the ingredients. Caudalie Premier Crew was thick, was rich. Not my favorite though. I don't think I'll repurchase this. Charlotte's Magic Serum, love that too. I had a whole bunch of samples from Sul Hwasu and I used them up. I went through two of the First Care Activating Serum 6s. I went through the Concentrated Ginseng Renewal Cream Serum. I don't like the smell of ginseng at all. Uh, so I wasn't wild about the products because they smell so much like ginseng. So it was not my most favorite. The Lancome Genifique Serum. No. Again, it had a funny smell. The Pharmacy Honey Glow 17% Resurfacing Acid Serum. Yes, I like this one. I would totally buy this again. MAC Hyper Real Serumizer is a skin balancing hydration serum. I really like this. I got a few uses out of it. I think it helped everything. Like I like this a lot. I would definitely purchase this. La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer times two. So is that a quadruple repair for the face moisturizer? And the Cicaplast Balm B5, an all-purpose cream. Meh. Like an elephant stuff, the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial, I do like that. The B Hydra Serum, I do like that. The Bestie Number 9 Cleanser, I do like that. 
Kopari Golden Aura Body Oil. Yes. Alta had their Not 21 Days of Beauty and they had a full size and I had the mini. So I went through the mini to see if I wanted the full size because I knew it was coming up and I bought the full size. I like a body oil. It's very luxe. The Ordinary Azaleic Acid Suspension 10% was okay. I don't like this packaging. I'd rather have a pump where it comes out than a squeeze and then trying to get that last bit out. It's annoying. I don't like this package. The Body Shop Concentrated Edelweiss Enriched with Natural Origin Peptides. Meh. Iro Beet Glow Boosting Serum. Meh. Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner. Meh. Good Molecules Niacinamide Toner. Meh. The Ordinary Salicylic Acid Solution. Would I repurchase? Probably. But I'd have to see if I have anything else that compares. Because nothing compares to you. But something might compare to that. I also went through some of my Tatcha stuff. The Camilla Cleansing Oil. This was okay. Um, a lot of these were in my lucky bag. It was okay. I would not repurchase it for what it was, what it did. It would be ridiculously too expensive. It's Tatcha. It's going to be expensive. So you want to buy the good stuff from that, like the overnight uh, mask. I love that. The overnight indigo repair. Love that. I would buy that. This I wouldn't buy. The Violet C Brightening Serum. Same. Didn't notice a big difference. I do like that it was in a pump and that it wasn't a dropper. I don't like vitamin C's that are in droppers. It's stupid. Why are we oxidizing all of this vitamin C so it could be like, oh, I'm a skin influencer. Stop it. It's annoying. The Silk Serum. What annoyed me about this is this was broken. You can see there's a crack and it arrived broken. So it never fit in right. The whole time I used it, it has not fit in right. So it comes out like this and you pump it. And it doesn't give you that luxe experience, which, you know, like is one of the reasons you're buying Tatcha. Now buying Tatcha, you can get the ordinary packaging. And even my ordinary stuff hasn't broke like this. So I didn't... Would I buy this again? Possibly. Like, it did, did me good, but fix the packaging. Tatcha, the Rice Polish Classic. I love this, and I actually might keep this container because if you open it and you just pop it off, then you can refill it, and I do have a big one. I have another small one like this, and I have a big one. I do like this. It's the um, powder, and you add it to water, and it's an exfoliator. I do like that. And it's cute, right? And this is nice. This is more travel friendly. Last couple are K-Beauty. This is Mugwort Essence. And I have another size like this because it came as part of the Allure K-Beauty box. So I ended up buying two of those boxes. And then I like this. So I bought a full size of this from TikTok Shop. Because I liked it. And this is from Tony Moly. This is the Wonder Ceramide Moki Water Cream. And I've gone through a few of these and I do like it. I like the Tony Moly stuff. And that's, I'm trying to transition a little more to the K-Beauty stuff. I like it. It does good on my skin. My skin likes it.